and welcome back to the Quest Motor Group YouTube channel. Recently, we bought you a video which showed you everything you need to know about the fantastic new Suzuki S-Cross. And if you haven't watched that already, we'll pop it in the description box. However, today we're gonna to bring you a video showing the main differences between the entry-level motion car and the top spec ultra to help you decide which one is perfect for you. Suzuki wanted to make the buying process as simple as possible for their customers. The S-Cross comes in just two simple specifications and six different colours. The first specification is called the Motion. Just because it's the entry-level car does not mean that it gets entry-level spec. It comes with keyless entry and start, heated front seats, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual zone climate control, automatic LED headlamps and rain sensing wipers. The second option is the Ultra. It shares the same great styling upgrades but comes with four-wheel drive as standard and a host of extra options, including a 360-degree parking camera, panoramic sunroof, part lever interior and a satellite navigation system. Both the Motion and Ultra can come in either a six-speed manual gearbox or a six-speed automatic gearbox, which includes manual steering wheel paddles. Both versions get Suzuki's 1.4-litre mild hybrid booster jet engine, which is both punchy and economical. However, the top spec Ultra actually is fitted with Suzuki's all-grip four-wheel drive system, meaning you can choose between sport, normal, snow and lock. With over 50 years experience, Suzuki's four-wheel drive technology gives you the confidence you need when dealing with varying UK weather conditions. Because of the added weight that comes with the four-wheel drive system, the Ultra model does have a slightly slower 0-62 time of 10.2 seconds, compared to the Motion's 9.5. For the same reason, the two-wheel drive car is slightly more economical, with a combined fuel consumption of over 50 miles per gallon, while the all-grip version falls just below 50. Still, impressive figures for a capable SUV, but all things to be considered when purchasing your next car. Both cars get 19-inch alloy wheels as standard, however, the Ultra gets an upgraded two-tone design. Both interiors of the S-Cross are practical and stylish. The biggest difference you'll recognise instantly is the sizes of the infotainment screen. The Motion features a 7-inch screen in the centre of the dash with Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The screen in the Ultra has increased to 9 inches and features a satellite navigation system and CarPlay is now wireless for the first time in a Suzuki. Cloth seats and a leather-wrapped armrest can be found in the Motion car, as well as a pull-out armrest in the rear. Ultra cars get an upgraded part lever interior, as well as leather trim door cards to match. The Motion car gets front and rear parking sensors, as well as a colour rear view camera with parking guidelines, so it makes parking the S-Cross a doddle. However, the Ultra also gets a 360 degree camera, a first for Suzuki. The icing on the cake, the Suzuki S-Cross Ultra also gets a panoramic sliding sunroof, which lets lots of light into the cabin. Both cars are fantastically capable SUVs, which offer tons of specification. The S-Cross Motion is an incredibly well-specced car when compared to its competitors, and more than enough equipment for most. However, if you want the confidence of a four-wheel drive system, and the added luxuries like a panoramic sunroof and a 360-degree parking camera, then we would recommend going for the Ultra. Thank you so much for watching today's presentation. If you had any more questions or queries about the Suzuki S-Cross, then please get in contact with Quest Motor Group today.